can't get enough of the DJI Vision from the Mayo Rip Girl Pro Portugal in 2017. Some amazing shots, and we're going to collect some more here. Mick Fanning taking on Frederico Marias, the winner of this one, taking that last spot in the quarterfinals and has a very daunting task ahead of them in Gabriel Medina. But an early start here for Mick Fanning, tucking into the tube, and he's going to find the exit. He comes out with the spit and drives down the line and finishes this one off on the closeout with a nice little floating re-entry. Federico Marias to catch up on as well, but here's Mick Fanning. There's that emerald green gem coming through for him. Threads the needle all the way through to the end, then bang! Pushes over the handlebars, and great way for him. Here's a drone shot looking into it. You can see him weaving through it. Not an easy wave to make, a little spit out the end even. And then clicks up into the corner. So great surfing, the sure-footed firepower of Mick Fanning. As he weaved through that little barrel, he had to really pick up some speed. You can see the spit blowing out of the end there in the slow-mo. That's just so beautiful and picture-perfect form here to finish off the corner. Well, one thing that, that Mick has, I think, over a lot of people in the field is all those reps taking off behind the rocket snapper. And we saw it in the earlier rounds too, even on those bigger waves. Mick is always positioned under the lip, has a really nice Solid technique, taking off under the lip. Here he goes, heading left now. Off the bottom, driving into this first section. And he doesn't like the look of that wave down the line, so he's going to kick out. But an 8.5 on his first wave, a good start for Fanning. World title run. As we see, the surfer from Portugal tucking in so deep in the barrel that he can't find his way through this one. Oh, that looked like a... Some really amazing surfing. Fanning not really able to get a solid backup score out of that last ride, and Fred getting his best opportunity at a number here. A couple of really quick hits, and he's out of there. He's put in a lot of time out here at Super 2 Boss, so he knows the wave so well. On the grandstands, comes into this thing, gets the board speed up like you were talking about, slams away. The golden spray out the back and throws into the corner for a nice finish. Quick moves. Nothing out of control on the technical side of things. A little late to the party there, but you know, get, getting it done. Nothing huge, you know, mid-range five. That was mixed replay of his wave on his left. They did the floater, and then because it was such a great barrel. Look at this thing. I mean, he drops in. And he's just got so much momentum and so much speed, and that section's just flowing, and then bang right there. Just at the end, it closed out on him. So. Heartbreaker for Federico Marias. Here he goes again, driving down the line. He's got some speed to use here. He's going to go to the air. Finds his feet, but just a little too on top of that wave. Can't ride out. Can't complete that rotation. All of a sudden, you're mixing it up with above the lip aerials that, you know, for the judges are going, oh, okay, yeah. And he's just so close to putting that back in the water and riding out of it. So I'd like to see him try again with a completion. He'll come up with the score. Well, just, but, um, yeah, all good. It was a good event. You know, I haven't really got the wheels in motion this whole year, so it was kind of good to get myself onto this side of the draw. And um, it's exciting to go to Hawaii and um, put the board shorts on and have some fun over there. And you've made your decision to retire. Can't help but notice that your surfing's looking a lot more freed up. Is it almost that pressure's off your shoulders now? At the Billabong Pipe Masters. Right now, though. We've got Federico Marias trying to chip away at Mick Fanning's lead. A couple of uncharacteristic falls from Fred. Yeah, we saw him fall on the last right. Now we've seen him fall on this left. Well, Mick Fanning having a look at this one. Fred selling it to him. Mick moving with a lot of speed now. Just the two turns. Not what you'd call a real keeper number, but he's only trying to improve on a 2.5. Now Fredo's out the back with priority having a look at this one drives up into the first section beautiful opening maneuver drifts the tail almost loses it on the second turn but just hangs on a tricky end section here but deals with it well so mick dropped a 2.87 on his last ride fred needs a 6.21 from that one to take the lead i feel like fred could have waited a little longer for a, a wave 
with a little more quality, a little more substance. For him to come back in this thing, he's going to have to get some better waves. He didn't get the number he needed. Fanning up now on the backhand. Quick hit in the pocket. Tries to whip it back up there a second time. Finding his backhand flow now. Just trying to push the requirement a little higher. And this wave's going to fade away. Well, he's kind of lucky that Mick took this wave because, again, another like kind of smaller wave with not a lot on it, you know, and he's not going to really go crazy with the score. The better, probably better is 283, but or 287. That was Federico's wave with 367. A couple of good snaps on it, but just a smaller wave, having to work really hard to, you know, put something together there. He, need a, he needs a wave with a little more substance, something he can really lay into, but not by much. Fred up at the moment on that backhand. It's looked lethal in the warm-up sessions. He's trying to be as busy as possible. Tricky end section to deal with, but he copes. Looking for a 6.71 out of this ride. Waiting on the numbers to come through. Was this enough to turn the heat? I don't think so. First turn was pretty solid, but there wasn't much left on the inside there for him, you know? And he had to kind of work for it. That finishing turn was pretty solid. So, last of uh, Red Dick equaled your previous. It's a 3-3-7. This was a 3-3-7 that he just tapped up on the replay, just trying to get something out. Still looking for a backup. Still looking for that number. Uh, Fanning, he's down the line with priority, though, and he will go. He kicks out. So, he doesn't up the ante at all. A 3.37 is... Still in his score line. Frederico still chasing a 6.71, but this one is all over. Have a look at that beautiful sunset. Unfortunately for Portugal, Frederico's run in this contest is over. Mick Fanning, though, he stays alive and he's still chasing a third Rip Curl Pro Portugal title in 2017. Stick around because after the break, we've got the WSL post show.